Hi, and welcome to Psychology One. Now I'm gonna give you a quick overview of Blackboard and where I put things. Now you're seeing what, similar to what you'll see, but you're in a faculty version. So if I go to Psychology, click on it, and there we are. Okay, now this is still a faculty version. There's information here and tools that you won't have. So I'm going to change it into a student view. And this is what you'll normally see. Now there's one exception that is not on here, but you should be able to see it and I'll get to it in a little bit. Um, the first announcement here, what I'm going to do is I will be posting announcements regularly. So please check regularly into Blackboard. But what I want to do is just walk you through. Now below here, you see that there will be a video here. It's the video I'm making right now, and I'll post it right beneath this outline here, where I'm going to basically show you where everything is located, where I put things. I'm going to show you how to post an assignment. You're going to have an assignment that you'll be posting where you'll need a share URL and some PDFs, and I'll show you how to do that. And I'll actually sh I'll show you just basically how you go through to write a test. And um, along with the assignment, I'll show you basically what's involved in doing a journal, like how to post your journal and how to post your assignment. And then lastly, I'm going to go through some of the um, folders just to give you an idea where things will be, that once they're posted, they're there all semester. Okay, so let's go through and see what we have. Now, you're going to want to check your grades. I don't have grades as I'm an instructor, so I can't. I can click here, but there won't be anything there. If you click on there, once you've done something that's worthy of, of getting some grade, it will show up there. So for example, when you write a test, uh, after you've completed the test, your grade should show up in Blackboard immediately. Now tools is just a location where you can go to get access to some of the things you may need, depending upon what the faculty has set up. In my instance, most everything that I have set up, you will access either through weekly learning or, and I'm going to start here, in contacting me. Now, if you just click, it brings you to my contact. Now, up here you've got a link to my email. You must remember when you email me, always re remember to email me from your Georgian College uh, student account. I'm only able to respond to emails that come from the Georgian account. It's an Ontario Privacy Commission uh, expectation of faculty. Now, I don't have any virtual hours here. As I mentioned um, in one other video, that I will post something to indicate how we're contacting me. Since I don't have a synchronous class, everything is asynchronous. That just means you can take it any one time. There's no class time. I'm not going to have a specific time by which you can connect with me through uh, WebEx or uh, MS Teams or Skype. Um, your classes are spread all over the place, so we'll make appointments. If you need to talk to me, we'll use WebEx, Skype, or MS Teams. Okay, and I will I will post something to let you know how to make those arrangements with me. But where I want to spend the bulk of our time for this overview is in weekly learnings. So let's click there. Now everything in weekly learnings is put in a weekly, almost like a filing cabinet. So every folder matches a week in your syllabus. So your in syllabus is really important for you. It's your sort of your compass and map to navigate through the semester in this course. So if we go up to syllabus and assignments, now these things will be here all semester. So there's no reason why you won't be able to find your syllabus or your assignment or journal. So to begin, in your syllabus, this top section where it says syllabus F20, whoops, <laughs> I clicked it. I'm going to take that out and come back. There we go. That says Syllabus Fall 20 PDF. I want you to click on that, or in, if you're a PC, you right click and save target as, and that will save the syllabus to your computer. On a Mac, uh, I just click it. Come way over here to this download feature, click on that, and it'll allow me to save the file. All right, 
So at any rate, you should be downloading and either printing or downloading and keeping available for you your syllabus because you need to, to go through each week and put these open and close dates and times because once those journals, test or assignment are open, that's it. They're open. And when the date says closed, in this case, the test closes on October 9th at 5 p.m., if you go in at 5.01 on October 9th, you won't see that test there. It will disappear from view. So anytime you go to do some of these colored elements that are worthy of some grade, if you don't go in on time, they won't be there for you to do later. So that's why your syllabus is really important. So let's get out of there. Now everything that I post, whether it's a document, will always come with a video of me explaining it. All the content are videos. So let's have a look. Um, it's, it's not rocket science, but I know uh, I have had questions about videos. So let me just walk you through some basics. One, you can just click here to begin it. Hi. Hi. Now we're gonna... <laughs> so that's all you need to do. However, you may prefer, because you can't read anything here, to go to full screen. Just click full screen. Now you can see everything really well. You just push escape and you're gone. Now also check down here under settings. It says HD, so that's really good. The quality is as good as you're gonna get it. But if it comes up something that doesn't say HD, just go into quality and change it from whatever it was at to the 1080p. The other thing to bear, bear witness to, if you find it hard to follow and you need to see it written out, click on CC or if you have a hearing impairment and you'd rather be able to see what I'm saying as well as hear what I'm saying, click CC and it will make these things uh, possible uh, that you can then read it. So all the videos are set up that way. So I would recommend one, download and watch the video through to the end. There's oftentimes things that I'll say that might be helpful for you that aren't in, captured in writing. So please watch the videos that I post as I try to offer you some other insights that might not be captured in your textbook or to, to explain things in a way that maybe make more sense. Now your assignment is going to be a video assignment. There's your document. Please download and read it carefully and watch the video. I offer some explanations to one, demystify how complicated it might sound when you hear, oh my goodness, I've got to do a video assignment. I'm asking that you use Screencast-O-Matic and I've made a video on how to use it and it's actually fairly straightforward. I get a lot of great ex um, uh, assignments handed in this class as I do with other classes where I use this type of an assignment. Video making can be done very straightforwardly and this is an example of one that does that. So make sure you read this, uh, sorry, watch this video carefully. I've posted it in support videos. I've posted it in here that is in um, um, syllabus and assignments. I've also posted it in week one and I've posted it in week seven. So there shouldn't be any troubles locating it and I really encourage you to watch it. Don't wait until the last minute to watch this video on how to use Screencast-O-Matic. I really recommend watching it in the first week or two Get a handle on it, uh, set up your own account, and then start doing your research. This is the uh, journal. Again, document up here. Please download and print that. And make sure you record from your syllabus all the dates for your assignment. Because 20% of your mark is going to be done through journals. The course outline is kind of our agreement. This is what I have said that I will produce for you in terms of content and its relationships to um, essential skills. And it's also what is expected of you. How many assignments, how many tests, or what the percentages would be, and I need to stick with that. And you need to complete your work. And then the last thing is I've created a little video that I've put in multiple locations around some tips for online success. Not everybody's prepared for online success equally. And so I've tried to offer you a little bit of support. It's not a lot, but it's a bit on time management, which is critical. I'll go back to this again when we get into support videos. Also, internet connectivity at home. Since we're all at home doing our work because of COVID restrictions, um, home connectivity can be a real challenge. You know, avoiding dropped signals or weak signals. 
And in this video, I offer you some alternatives, some ways to improve that. Um, please watch that. It's important because if you get a dropped or weak signal from home, there's nothing I can do to help you. And so if you're writing a test, it's important to have strong and reliable signal throughout the test. If you lose the signal, I can't help you. Um, I can reset the test, but if you don't improve your signal, it's not going to improve the test that you take. And then lastly is supports. And so this video is really made uh, to, to help you be successful in online education. All right. Now we're going to navigate to the next section. Now I want to show you that there's two things we can do here. I want to go to weekly learning. However, I can also come up here to weekly learning. Either is a, an appropriate way to move and navigate. Now I've made another folder called support videos. And in here I've put um, any sort of videos that I think will support your online endeavor in this class. There's the, so the online success tips again. Here's the Screencast-O-Matic again, but I've also added a, a quick overview of the library. Because you have to do some research, I want you to use the library research. And from here, you need to access um, your remote access PIN number. And you can do that by going to the library um, online and making that request for your PIN number. And they will send it to you, which gives you access to the library database from home. So please watch this video. It'll help you do reliable and good searches, which will improve the quality of your assignment. Here you have a, vi a video on how to make video, or sorry, how to um, add uh, important dates to your device's calendars. Now I know most of you have devices and they will have calendars on them, but not everyone seems to know how to use them. So I put this one together to show you how to add events or due dates but also to remind you that when you put a due date that an assignment is due December 4th, November 27th, whatever the day might be, you need to also have a start date so that when your calendar alerts you that something's pending, you've got a start date that sort of gets you started and you've allowed yourself four weeks to do your assignments. So you need to have a start date and you need to do the work so nothing gets left to the last minute. That's just poor planning. Work the plan. So plan the work, work the plan. And then lastly, I've asked that in your assignment that things be posted in a PDF format. In fact, if you post anything in Blackboard for me, it must be in a PDF format. It's the most reliable way that I can see what you produced, exactly what you produced. If you submit to me a Word Perfect, a Word document, or a Pages document, you're not guaranteeing that I can view that the way that you designed it. So please, watch this video if you don't know how to make a PDF. This is for how to make a PDF with a PC or with a Mac. All right, let's carry on. We're going to go back to weekly learnings. Now, as I mentioned, every week has content. We'll go to week one, and we have, there's the success tips again. I'm putting it in a lot of locations. I want to make sure that you don't lose sight of where it might be. And if you think you need it later, you know where you can get it. These videos will be left in here and for the entire semester. Then you have content videos, part one and part two. And that's basically how the semester will play out. Now I did mention I will show you about journals. So let's go to week two. Now. I haven't put the journal in here. It's not available, so you can't see it. And the reason why you can't see it is it has an open date, and that open date isn't the day that I'm making this video. So it's not here. And so that's what will happen with all journals. If you go in to write a journal and you don't see it, it's because either you're too early or you're too late. And so it's really important that you mark those dates down and take advantage of those opportunities when they're available. But what I will do, I'll jump ahead a bit and I'll just, because we're here, I'll do a sample test. Now your test will look like this. It will have a bit more in the way of instructions. This is just a sample. But all you'll end up doing is clicking on the test, read your instructions. Now these instructions are for this sample test, not for the test you'll get. I say here you have one hour. In your tests, you'll have three hours and you'll have five days to, to use those three hours to write up to two tests or two uh, attempts. You can do one and that's it. 
but you also can do two, but you have three hours to do two. So the instructions will be up here, and then you start over here where it says begin. So the first question, mother, uh, who is the instructor for this course? Mother Nature, Steve Miller, Papa Bear, or I don't know. Well, I'm going to help you out. It's Steve Miller. That's me. I'm going to save the answer. I'm going to go on. My second question, what is the name of this course? Well, I hope you know that it's Psychology 1. And we'll save that answer, and we're done. So save and submit is what you'll get at the end of your 50 or 60 questions. Click, say, yep. Now it gives me a little overview of my time. I, I didn't show you, but I, you'll notice there is a timer on the test that counts down your time. So you can keep an idea of how much time you've used for test one to then know whether you think you have enough time to do a test two. So let's click OK. We get a summary of what you did. And then that's it. Now, if you wrote that test, you should be able to go to My Grades and see the results of that test posted in Grade Center. And so that becomes your grade. Alrighty, let's go back up to Weekly Learnings. I'm going to go down to your assignment folder. If made a journal that you can post your assignment in Week 10. Assignment journal where you post your assignment is here. So let's go in. Now this one I've left open. Because I figured if you can get your assignment done by week two, you can post it in week two in the week 10 folder here. Um, so there you go. I'm indicating you need a, a video URL. You need to watch the how to do a screencast-o-matic video tutorial. You need to watch that and how to make a URL. A PDF of your script. So when you make a video, you're going to be speaking. You won't be visually seen unless that's what you choose, but if you want to do just a voiceover video, which is what you're expected to do, then you need to show me and put and post your PDF of your script, what you said. And then the two PDF of your sources, and that's where you're going to use the library. So let's click in here and see. Now all journals will look this way, except this is the assignment journal, so I'm only asking you to post your PDFs and your link. But in a regular journal, Journal 1, Journal 2, Journal 3, Journal 4, and Journal 5, they will look a little bit like, you'll see I posted something right up beside what we're doing here, that will have a, instructions and will have a video where I'm asking you to watch the video and then follow the instructions to make your um, journal entry. Either way, when it comes time to make your journal entry, you want to come up here create a journal entry. And the little asterisk means you must put a title in. So we'll call this, for, we're going to do this like it's a journal one. So I'm going to grab journal one. And then you would start typing in here. Now remember, you're doing three paragraphs minimum to get full um, credit for what you're doing in your journal. So you just start typing. Now for those of you who would like to work in a Word document or a Pages document or WordPerfect or some other um, um, uh, editing so uh, software that allows you to do your journal writing, you can do that. Save it as a PDF. Now, whether you're doing a PDF for your journal 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5, or whether you're doing your PDFs and um, your URL for the assignment plus the PDFs, all PDFs will get added by browsing your computer down here. And you just click on that, it pulls up, and I'll just grab, uh, where am I at? There, I'll just grab that, doesn't matter what it is. That's my gender journals. And so that's your PDF going into the journal. And so you post your two PDFs, your three actually, your script and your two pieces of information. You cut and paste your URL here, well, you know, I don't know if I, I don't have one just handy. But you know when you put a share, you, you know, for YouTube, um, it doesn't look just like this. But if you've ever shared a YouTube video with somebody by emailing or texting it to them, you've had to have a share URL. Screencast-O-Matic does the same thing. And then you browse your computer, get your PDFs, 
and then post your entry. Now we're only seeing the one PDF here and this what would be a share URL up here. For this assignment you'll have three PDFs and the share URL. For your journals one, two, three, four, and five, you may just have a PDF or you'll have everything typed in in the journal. If you can see it here on this screen and it's showing up over here, then you can see I can see it. And so it's been successful. That's your that's your confirmation of success. So let's go back to weekly learning. Now, um, all stuff that comes up is in here and in here now. All the videos, for example, you'll see in week seven, there's only this one here. Content, content will become available based on the tests. So we'll come back here. Week one, week two, week three are all available. There's content, but not week four or five because the test is in week four and I don't want to confuse everything. So you'll find that material comes in after the test. Well, I want to make sure that when you, you know, make sure you read everything in a, in a announcement. So for example, you're seeing new test. Because I put the sample test in, it sets up to make an announcement the day that it's available. And so it's showing to be available as of August 31st when I posted this. And so I can go to week two, look for sample test, and I can click it and do the test like I showed you. Alternatively, I can click on this link. That's a link down here. And it'll take me directly to the test to begin. All right. All right, I think that's about all I want to express. I hope this is going to be helpful for you. Please make every effort to watch the videos through to the end. Make notes in your textbook. Make notes on pieces of paper in a booklet so that when test time comes, you've got your textbook, your notes, and you're ready to write the test. You will do great. I hope you learned a lot in this course. Remember, psychology is all about you and how you became you in a psychological perspective. And so this is going to be a fun, enjoyable course. I look forward to meeting you all. And please, good luck, stay safe, and we'll see you around. Bye now.